morning <clears throat> weird uh i decided today i was gonna pick up the vlogging camera and take you along with me because a few things to do today it might make an interesting vlog um it is at the moment 8:44. I went to sleep about 9.30 last night and I slept till about 15 minutes ago. So that was a pretty good sleep. I've been so sleep deprived lately. So it feels good to have a good night's sleep in the bag. There's a storm coming today as well, so... Maybe I won't be doing that much today. Ooh! I've been taking... Simprove. It's been all over social media. People talking about it all the time. Didn't want to try it, but I went to see a gastro doctor and he recommended it, so I've been taking it. And um, I hate to say it, but foods that would have triggered my digestive issues before are no longer triggering it. So, bottoms up, it tastes like dog shit. Ugh. Totally lied. It just it kind of tastes like, you know that feeling in the back of your throat when you've been vomiting? A really acidic taste tastes like that. Right, I'm gonna go do a quick meditation. I'll be back. Meditation was a bust, but that's okay. That'll happen sometimes. I just wasn't able to get in the zone. Um, so now I'm going to chug, well not chug, drink a big bottle of water as I do every morning. Um, I'm gonna put on a bit of a face. I'm gonna have a shower as well actually. And then I'm gonna have my coffee because Larry Doyle coaching says hydrate then caffeinate. Um, and then I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm here doing my makeup, I've just started my foundation and I'm using the Morphe sponge for the first time and it's good, I mean it's given a really nice finish but it's taking me fucking ages. I usually use beauty blenders, beauty blenders are the creme de la creme for me um, it, but they are expensive, I think they're about 14 or 15 euro. Uh, if you can't afford them I think the Real Techniques is a good alternative but it's definitely not as good as beauty blender so I absolutely love those. Um, and as I said, I like the finish this has given me. But I don't know, is it worth the extra effort in application? Probably not. But fuck it, I'll use it anyway. I got these um, a few weeks ago and I've actually since bought them again. These are the Super Nature Snacks. They're made in Ireland, only four ingredients, so super clean. Um, yeah, it's an Irish brand. Uh, a mother made these products for her daughter when she was told to like avoid dairy and wheat and stuff. And now she's decided to make them available to everyone and they're delicious. They look kind of like Maltesers, they're chocolate covered hazelnuts and I'm gonna throw some of those I'm going to throw all of those <laughs> on my porridge. Let's taste this beauty. Yeah. Oh my god. Divine! I'll show you what it looks like. Doesn't that look so good? Makeup done. I used Kaylee MUA's uh, tutorial. Yes, I have a knickers on my hand, but I wanted to show you something to see if you can relate. Does anyone else have a knickers that looks like decre like it? It's ready for the bin, but I can't let it go because I love it. It's just so comfortable. And in case you're wondering, these are the knickers I'm gonna be wearing today. They're Calvin Klein, circa probably ten years ago. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get dressed. I'm running ooh, a little bit late for my eyebrow appointment, but yeah, I'm gonna get dressed and leg it out the door. Really, really happy with how my makeup turned out. Kaylee, if you're watching, thank you. Right, let's go. Oh God. Oh, it's not lip gloss weather. Oh no. SOS. Oh, should we still on time? Cool, bye. So I'm here, I got in, I'm in at Noella's treatment room. Here is the woman herself. How long have we known each other since we're 12? 12. And you've been yeah. doing my brows for, I was trying to calculate, four or five years, maybe uh, more? Well, as long as I'm in the brow artist, so six years. Wow, yeah. that's mad. Yeah. Uh, and I have a question to ask you, right? <laughs> On the spot, right? Okay. So I don't know if you watch my Instagram stories from time to time. Do you ever look at my brows and think, Laura, 
you need to come into me. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. Really? <laughs> at least you're honest. Yeah. I commend the honesty. Or do you ever look at the shape I've drawn them in and be like, Laura? No, you generally shape them in quite well. I think I do. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you kind of set the. You kind of do the pattern the from it and I just kind yeah. of fill them in. Yeah. But like, I don't have a huge amount of hair growth. Like, no. you've probably about 10 hairs to deal with on each brow. No. It's more about just fixing Refining. the shape. How often would I, would you say I come in? Probably twice a year, maybe? Yeah, two to yeah. three times a year, maybe, yeah. depending, yeah. Yeah, class. So we're gonna show the whole process. This setup is deadly, so obviously, then overhead to keep an eye on the brows. Okay, cool. Right, I'm gonna hop up on the bed. Sorry, now I'm making your life a bit miserable now because I came in with a full face on, but don't worry, okay. you can. That lighting is very flattering. <laughs> is it actually, or are you being sarcastic? No, it is, it is. <laughs> off they come. Lovely. Oh god, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? <laughs> it just doesn't look right. Noella's mixing the tint there. Is that tint you're mixing? Yeah, I have it mixed there now. Cool. I just want to show exactly what's involved in this from start to finish. Start there's to like finish. Okay. loads of steps, isn't there? So what? So you start by cleaning off the brows, obviously, no matter Clean if there's makeup the or not. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just Clean in case there's them. remnants. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which obviously she is very much done. <laughs> Thanks. Go on. We'll, we'll pa try patch back up. So then I have mixed your tint up for you. I used Reflectisil tint. Mm -hmm. um, so I have it in, I mix a little bit of light and natural and then use our developer then. And I'm gonna let that sit while I shape your brows then so that can develop a bit before I actually apply it to your skin. Okay. All right. Right. This is the part I like the least. <laughs> and if you have watery eyes, this is probably not something you're going to enjoy. I can't imagine what it's like for someone who actually has eyebrows. <laughs> so the threading is done there, just kind of cleaning up with the tweezers, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the tint going on now. It feels so soothing actually on the skin. So you just kind of color in the shape that you're looking for. Yeah. And then, okay. So I literally paint them on the brow that you want or I want you to have. I paint on exactly. And then I allow the tint to sit and stay in the skin then. Okay, so it's not just dyeing the eyebrow hairs, it's tinting the skin. No. And I know my skin spits it out very quickly, but some people's skin it lasts quite well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, like some people could get like at least a week out of it. Mad. Um, some people, if they're super careful about how they clean their face, they might get like a week and a few days. Unreal. Um, but that would tend to be like someone who had quite dry skin. Yeah, I'm um, quite oily, so yeah. on holidays and stuff, that'd be ideal. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you know, it is a it is a hair dye, mm -hmm. and then we just do our best to try and stay in the skin. But the new treatment that I'm doing, the henna, yeah. that's actually designed to stay in the skin as well. Okay. So for people who have difficulty holding on to the to the stain, mm -hmm. then that would be a good option for them to try now. Actually, what does the patch test involve behind the ear stuff? Yeah. Might do that today for future. Yeah, for sure. I might try it next time. Yeah. I just, I know you mentioned it when I was booking in, but I just like familiarity, especially mm -hmm. when I'm going away as well in a yeah. few days, I want. Better the devil you know. Exactly, and I didn't know <laughs> if I was going to be able to get in for a patch test as well, so it's kind of like, no, we'll go with what we know. I almost wish you could just leave it on like that. <laughs> I know it looks a bit mad, but you know the dark brow, and you've like, do you fade it inside as well? Do you put like a little bit less on the inner part? No. Yeah, so like I've, I've painted it like slightly, you can see, slightly lighter there in comparison to yes. the rest of it. To make like a fade. Yeah, slight ombre, but then when I remove it at the end, I'll, I'll buff that back a little bit more on the inside again. So it's not as, so it's not blocky. Yeah, so it's not as heavy there. They look unreal. Isn't it gas like, the only reason I have this shape to my brows is totally you, because <laughs> I don't have it otherwise. Uh, fully cooked, are we? Fully cooked. Off she comes. No, one brow cleaned off. Wow. So the tint highlighted some more strays that Noelle is just tidying away there. And all of the products Noella uses are all cruelty free and vegan friendly. Yay! Nobody's harmed to get these mm. savage brows. Noella, you've done it again. Thank you so much, you are the best! I love them. It's gas, I was just saying like, before I come to an appointment, I'm like, they don't really need to be done. And then afterwards I'm like, bitch, take a photo of this, remember this, because this is how brows look after they've been done. Savage. Ooh. Real cute. <sighs> Home time. It is fucking miserable. Oh, it's disgusting. 
I'm gonna take my new brows to the gym. Uh, I don't go that often. I sometimes take an ocean, that's what's happening right now. Oh yeah, my coffee. Essential. That is so true. Glute activation is harder than the leg workout itself, I swear. So I'm home from the gym. It's pretty disgusting outside. I'm very sweaty and I realized when I was in the gym I literally wore a red lace bra. That's never happened before. I always remember to wear a sports bra, but obviously my head was elsewhere. I'm absolutely starving because I did a lot of lower body today. I did full body, but I did a lot of squats, leg press, lunges. Um, so whenever I work my lower body, naturally enough, it being your largest muscle groups, uh, your body's like, you need to replenish me, bitch. So I'm um, trying to think, what have I got inside? Because I'm heading away on Tuesday for quite a long time, it's usually my MO to just mill everything fresh out of the fridge so that I have no food to throw away. So I'm gonna see, I know I have soup. And I was hoping to have like a tofu salad, but I have no salad leaves, but we'll see what we can throw together. Um, it's now, Jesus, 20 to five, fuck. Right, well I'm not gonna have beer for dinner. Uh, right, I've got butternut squash, one singular tomato, sauerkraut, it's tofu, yeah, tofu, red onion. I actually have some soup here too. Yeah, I'll just throw together something. Which is what I always do. I'm gonna roast butternut squash. Yeah, this is gonna be a weird one. Right, I've chopped up the butternut squash, put it onto this silicone roasting pad and it's gonna go into my oven. I will actually link this down below because it's one of my most used kitchen things and they're really cheap and they're really sustainable because you don't dump them afterwards, you're not using greaseproof paper or anything like that. I really like them and you just literally give them a quick wash afterwards and they've got teeny tiny like holes in them so the air circulates through so you don't actually have to flip over the, pro um, the food. So yeah, I'm um, popping these in for about 25 minutes. I did warn you this is gonna be random, okay? I could have tried to do like a real video friendly one, but this is real life. I didn't plan this. Uh, so here I have butternut squash, tofu, walnuts for fat, nutritional yeast underneath that, green beans, regular garden peas, sweet corn, sauerkraut, tomato, and I did a little drizzle of liquid aminos over the top. And here I'm also having a bowl of pea, kale and buckwheat soup. And with my meal, I'm also taking my vitamins. I, okay, everyone who sees this is like, Laura, what age are you? This is like a medication thing for all people. I think this is a really good way of keeping track of whether you've taken your vitamins or not. So you could look and be like, did I take my vitamins this morning? And you'll see, yes or no, you haven't because the days are on. Again, I'll link this down below if you want to buy one for yourself. Like I can tell by this, what day is today? Today is Thursday. I can see, look, I didn't take them on Tuesday morning. Which is fine, I don't really mind missing the occasional time, but I can actually see, you know? I use the Terra Nova supplements. I find them to be the most trustworthy. They're not the cheapest, they're certainly not the cheapest, but um, I kind of believe you get what you pay for when it comes to supplements. And I posted about them before on Instagram, and I had a couple of followers message me who have like science degrees or masters or whatever, and as part of their degree, they had to, in a lab, test different supplement uh, formulas. And Terra Nova off, often came up trumps for having exactly in it what's said on the label, and apparently that cannot be said for a lot of brands. Which is quite eye-opening if you think about it. But yeah, I use Terra Nova, um, yeah. I'm gonna dig in, because I am hungry. That was actually surprisingly delicious and satisfying, and I am now full, which is rare. Not my angle, but no one gives a fuck, Laura. I kind of fancy something sweet. So I'm gonna have a banana, because this is a bit squishy. <laughs> I'm gonna have a shower now. And I think I'm just gonna like do some editing and stuff for the evening. Not very exciting. Last night I slept naked. 
Things are a little different tonight. How comfy, cozy and Christmassy. I have no idea where these pajamas came from. I found them in my pajamas drawer and I'm not mad about them. It's eight o'clock and I'm winding down for the night. I'm having just one last snack. Super nature raspberry chocolates. They look really fucked up. Hang on, I'll show you. Yeah, they look a bit weird, but they taste pretty good. You know they're healthy, but they're good. I'm not even going to sugarcoat this. It's 14 minutes past eight and I'm in bed and I'm not sorry about it. I had a pretty productive day. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, but I want to go to sleep because I want to have another productive day tomorrow. Um, I'm going to show you my little self-care routine. I don't do this all the time, but when I'm feeling maybe a bit stressed or I have a little bit of extra time, I'm going to show you what I do. So my bedside locker has obviously got, I mean, I can't be without this, my Ren pillow spray. What's it called? And now to sleep. I spray my pillow with that and sometimes I spray the inside of my eye mask with that so it can be closer to my senses. And then if I'm feeling extra stressed, I like to use a little bit of this. This is the Cotanical Essential Oil Blend in the Unwind. Without going into too much detail, I had a friend visit the other night and I gave that friend a massage using this and my friend really liked it. So it smells. Oh my god, I don't even know what it is. What's in it? Lavender, sandalwood, frankincense, yeah, lang lang, bergamot, yarrow, roman chamomile, jojoba. Jojoba, lovely. And then what I do is I just like rub my hands together, inhale it deeply three times, and then I take a little bit more and I give myself a little shoulder massage. My shoulders and neck get really, really tight, so this feels so nice. And then I run up the back of my neck and then up here. And then whatever's left, I just put it on my pulse points. Oh, I feel like that sets me up for a really nice night's sleep. Uh, I'll leave details here if you want to buy anything from cotanical.ie. Uh, I'm a brand ambassador. Any commission I make from sales using my code is donated to a local animal shelter. Yeah, so you can feel good while you feel good. Anyway, I'm going to sleep now. Good night.